<laughs> just puffs right out. So I got a couple of comments about installing Windows 10 on the Samsung 970 Pro or just have the 970 Pro running Windows 10, whichever you prefer. So I'll go ahead and do an installation here, Windows 10 on the 970 Pro on the uh, my Ryzen system. And um, maybe do a little quick benchmark test, uh, startup, boot up, full boot up test, and also probably a quick restart. So I already got the setup here, we're pretty much ready to go. Also on the side, I have my little uh, Lego thumb drive yet again. Uh, it's got basically optimized Samsung drivers, NVMe, uh, NVMe drivers. And uh, from what I can tell, Windows 10 will actually pick up this drive without any driver needed or anything else needed on the installation thumb drive for Windows 10 that I have here. In other videos, I've already demonstrated Windows 7 had to have like USB 3 drivers or future drivers and whatnot to actually pick up ports and also the 970 Pro itself. In one case it was picked up, in the other we had to manually install. In this case, we'll see if it actually gets picked up on its own since I believe Windows 10 does have, as you can tell, yes, it is picked up here. However, I believe this is probably gonna be a default Microsoft driver. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this little guy. Here's the view of the computer again. Basically the Ryzen system I mentioned before in another uh, 970 Pro video. I do have the SS2 SSDs and the mechanical hard drive that are already on this computer unplugged for the time being for this. Let's go ahead and just plug this little Lego brick in. Pun intended. All right, just another look at the system here. And let's go ahead and take a view here. And I'll go ahead and uh, hit load driver, hit browse. And we will go to the USB Windows 10, which I have it saved here. Here's the driver, we'll hit next. The only reason I'm doing this is for better optimization um, as opposed to using the default driver which might be running at half speed or maybe 70-75%. Uh, okay, so here we go. Looks like the driver is kicked in and we'll just go ahead and install Windows 10. If anyone's wondering, the version of Windows 10 here, this is actually Windows 10 long service, long-term service branch, LTSB. And um, No particular reason why I'm installing this. I mean, I'm just doing this just for the show for the moment. I already do have Windows 10 running on this computer on a secondary uh, SSD. I do have Windows 7 running on another SSD. So I actually swap between both operating systems at the BIOS. And I'm just really doing this here for show to demonstrate to you Windows 10 installation on the 970 Pro and whatnot. I do actually, maybe I'll talk about it in another video about this particular version of uh, Windows 10 corporate and that really does not have all of the stuff that a lot of people have been ranting about Windows 10 in general. Uh, all the little games and everything else that just seems to be on the computer that no one seems to enjoy. Sorry if a car is driving by with loud music. <laughs> and uh, a lot of things that people do to get all that stuff and the paranoia about spying, which, you know, I'm a paranoia actually in me as well too. A lot of things, you know, having more control over Windows uh, updates and uh, the telemetry that's sent back to Microsoft as well too. Um, I know there was an update some months ago that actually changed that ability to corporate only so you do have the ability to change that setting. So that's probably one reason why I'm sticking to checking out this newer version of Windows 10 that I just mentioned as opposed to using Pro. Uh, or even home which even has less uh, ability to do changes i don't even think gp edit is even available this is actually going pretty fairly fast i am not using a usb 3 thumb drive here if i was i'm pretty sure this will actually run pretty speedy but i'll go ahead and skip over to almost the end and we'll see how this thing boots up and all the rest i just mentioned just a little FYI, if anyone's actually wondering, I did go ahead and, unlike another video I did before, 
already plug in the 970 Pro into the Optimize and Faster M2 slot that's actually underneath the video card over here. There's two slots here. You can already see one here. But there's another one here with a little funky MSI heatsink thingy that's uh, right underneath this uh, video card. So in case anyone's wondering, I won't be having an issue with uh, running any benchmark on a PCI Express 2.0 slot, like this particular slot is here. I was actually getting speeds at around half to 60%. If anyone has run into that issue, that could be a reason. Your slot is either too slow because you're using an older chipset board. I remember I did hear somebody mention that to me. Or you do have it on a least optimized slot. So if that's something you're running into, you might want to go ahead and check out your slots. If um, there you still having slow uh, speeds and you are in the optimized slot, something else that could be wrong is you might be running out of PCI lanes. Um, either with video cards or you know other particular add-on cards you may have uh, another computer i put in i did put a sound card which is an x1 I'm trying to scratch my head see if that would actually have an effect but just want to go ahead and just let you know that that's a little settings i have up here and uh <laughs> i put the little 970 pro box over here just to be fun it's, it feels like it's about to smack into the fan but no All right, so I don't know how many times it reboots usually with Windows 10 setup, but here's the first one, if it is only one. I do know eventually after it's done doing the setup, it goes into the whole, oh, give us a moment, welcome, we're setting up Windows, blah, 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 blah. Just to recap again, we do have the Samsung NVMe drivers installed for optimize uh, performance as opposed to any default Microsoft uh, NVMe driver that's already installed and comes with the installation. So um, keep that in mind. You know, unless there's a huge difference between those two, I'm not really sure it's gonna actually have that much of a difference. It could just be a marginal one. All right. Here we are, so I'm just going to, this is a test, but you know, only a little, see if it works, blah, 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 but I'll go ahead and uh, um, make people cringe and uh, see all these little things on. Ah, full diagnostic and usage data to Microsoft. Sure. <laughs> this is funny. I remember in one Windows 10 installation I did, I specifically turned this off. And believe it or not, it was back on again. I'm not trying to put Windows 10 down or anything. Um, this particular version of Windows 10 has actually really opened me up to it again. I already have it on two computers. Um, this particular Ryzen system here that we're running this on is one of them. But uh, personally, and it's just a matter of preference, you know, I know some people are wondering why Windows 10 or why Windows 7 for the moment. Uh, I'm still using Windows 7 as a primary OS on a number of my computers. And again, it's just a matter of preference. Two of the computers that actually run the X99 chipset from Intel. So they're like a 2015 chipset, even uh, probably even a little, might even be a little sooner. So I do not plan to put Windows 10 on those computers, to be honest, by 2020, I may already have upgraded them to something else. So over here, we'll just do local domain. I'm not gonna make any email address uh, attached account here. Just so I'll enter. No password at the moment. Hi. One thing I will mention about Windows 10, even if you're running a mechanical hard drive, it actually runs pretty smooth. Um, one of my friends sent me a laptop 
and you know it's like a one of the older generation Intel CPUs older chipset I would say maybe a 2012 laptop 2013 give or take and um, she had like a 750 gigabyte mechanical hard drive in there obviously these days you're like well let's SSD it swap it out clone everything over and put an SSD in there make sure hopefully it doesn't take more than the SSD capacity which is usually 180, 256, or at best 512. Uh, not many people I know have one terabyte SSDs at the moment. But uh, I gotta tell you, after installing Windows 10, doing updates, everything seemed to run pretty smooth. Decent amount of boot, boot up time and whatnot. Well, here we are, obviously a bunch of drivers missing. I'm pretty sure Device Manager will install some of them on its own. So uh, let me just give this a moment and I'm gonna download, install, a benchmark software and run it and a couple of little reboot tests as well too. So I went ahead and installed a couple of drivers, did a couple of reboot tests. There's still some drivers that I'm missing but I just wanted to go ahead and just demonstrate that the latest Samsung driver over here is actually installed from boot up. Uh, I did read around do a little reading around and I did notice that if I actually haven't installed this manually you would be seeing some sort of Microsoft generic NVMe driver and uh, probably not optimized for the 970 Pro. I'm sure you still be getting good speeds, but a lot of people argue that yeah, you definitely be getting slower speeds and while you may not notice it, notice it in a boot up test and whatnot, I did want to go ahead and install the latest driver. So let's go ahead and just do a little uh, benchmark here. Close this up. You know, also see that Windows 10 is not activated, that's okay. Because like I said, this is only for test purposes only. And obviously you can see Ryzen 2700 core, etc, etc. So let's go ahead and just run one test. You know what? Go ahead and make this a little larger. Maybe, ooh, 200% looks good. And since this is a Ryzen PC, I will leave it. The buttons on green. So let's see what we get. These numbers so far on all these benchmarks I've done on this drive are just absolutely amazing. And you can see already we're getting very similar speeds so far. I'm only running this test for one cycle for the time being since we'll probably be getting very close results anyway, even if we ran five. moment you've all waited for the right speed slightly higher write speeds uh, about the same read speeds I had on Windows 7 base PC so far in benchmarks pretty similar stuff write speed just appears to be a bit faster now on the box and the specs I did see that the write speed on the 970 Pro is I believe either 2500 or 2700 I haven't seen speeds past 2500 yet. Uh, again, this is the latest Samsung NVMe driver from early 2018. I believe February version 3.0.4, who knows what other number there is. <laughs> so a very late driver. If there is a new driver, I'll definitely go ahead and update it and see if I get any particular increase in speeds, which newer drivers usually will give you that. Very awesome numbers here in Windows 10. So what are we waiting for? Let's go ahead and just do a quick reboot and then I'll shut the computer off and actually do a full restart or restart actual full boot up from scratch. Bear in mind, I definitely don't have all the drivers installed 
chipset driver is already in, so this may or may not be optimized, but just thought I'd go ahead and entertain everybody. Pretty fast boot speeds if you start counting from when the BIOS actually screen actually appears. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shut the computer off and do one more test. There we go. Gotcha. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and, uh, oh, we can unplug this little USB's installation and the driver USB that we had earlier. So let's go ahead and uh, turn this grill back on. We did a full shutdown, not going to sleep mode or anything and turning it back on. Wow, I gotta tell you. No. That can't be. Everyone's watching, this is an actual full shutdown. And uh, let's do that again. Remember back in the 80s and 90s where they said you shouldn't really turn the computer on and off like that? Maybe wait a good 15 minutes before you turn it back on? <laughs> Sometimes so crosses my mind. Well, if that's, there's another reason to upgrade to Windows 10 if I needed one, it's the boot speed. Check that out. They even feel like it was more than five seconds. Oh well. Anyway, if you found this video entertaining or very useful to you, or you just liked it, go ahead and shoot a like. Uh, subscribe, definitely. I'll be posting more videos. Um, this is actually a really amazing uh, little test to do here. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and take care.